Coverage with Action News reporter Christy Leto, who talked tonight with Wallace's mother and father. Christy, what did you hear from them? Well, Jim, they're still in disbelief, including his mother, who tried to defuse the, the situation yesterday. She says that the family called police or called 911 for help, not thinking that their son would end up dead. I was calling the police to stop. Don't shoot my son. Yeah. Please don't shoot my son. Speaking from the front steps of their West Philadelphia home, this is the first time we're hearing from Walter Wallace Jr.'s parents. His mother, Kathy, seen on video trying to intervene on her son's behalf moments before he was shot, said her pleas to police fell on deaf ears. Oh my God. Investigators say oh Wallace was armed with a knife and did not comply with commands to drop his weapon. The family's attorney said they'd called 911 for medical intervention and had explained to police the 27 year old was in crisis. Did you tell the police about his condition when you called 911? No, they already know about it. His parents say their son suffered from mental health issues and that police had been called to the home earlier in the day. I can't even sleep at night. Every time I close my eyes, I get a flashback about multiple shots. Family and witnesses now argue less lethal force could have been used to defuse the situation that's now touched off citywide protests. The 27 year old was an aspiring rapper, husband, and father to nine children. So we need to always hang out. Speaking to a crowd of cameras, his son Zamir relived his favorite moments. Always play around. While also revealing the trauma his innocent eyes have seen play out in front of his family's home. And white racist cops. I got my own dad. I'm sorry. Because. He's a man. And black life still matters. Yeah, some very raw and very real emotions right there. Again, all of this happening against the backdrop of protests and even looting this evening. The family tonight pleading for peaceful demonstrations and not violence. Live here in West Philadelphia, Christy Aletto, Channel 6, Action News, Jim. Thank you.